on that back, calling me splurge. Let me jump right off the curb. Yeah. Bitch, let's run fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Hey, Bougie Bears, welcome to our back to Brace and Bougie Vlog. And as y'all can tell by the title of today's video, I will be teaching y'all slash giving y'all a tutorial on how to make a beaded bracelet in 2024. So yeah, before we get into this video, make sure y'all press that like button, comment some YouTube video ideas that y'all want to see from my channel. Because if y'all can tell, as y'all can tell, I have not been as active on my YouTube channel as I used to simply because as y'all know, I split my channel into two. I have my uh, another YouTube channel just for my personal life, and then I have this YouTube channel strictly for my business. So yeah, if y'all want to see more videos, let me know what videos y'all want to see. Be specific. Also, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please make sure you click that subscribe button. So you are welcome to the Bracelet Bougie Squad. And yes, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so here is a voiceover. The first thing you'll need is a bracelet bead design board. Next, you'll need some beads. I'll have everything linked in the description. Some scissors. My Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description of this video, will have everything. My string is on my website. That's the only place that you can get it from. And there's everything that you'll need to make a bracelet. First, you want to start out by rolling out some string. Keep your string attached to the roll. It's way easier that way so that the beads don't slip off and fall. As y'all can see, I just dropped the bead. But it's really easy. Some people use a needle, but with the string that I use, you will not need a needle because the string will be straight. Now, in a second, y'all are going to see me cut the string right here because it's a fresh roll of string. Of course, it may be a little rolled up, so no problem. All you do is just go on and cut it. And with this string, my string that is available on my website, link in the description, the string is automatically straight. So all you have to do is just feed the beads onto the string. This part is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just let y'all watch. So I'm going to keep quiet and just let y'all watch. Now here's where we tie the bracelet. You're going to want to keep a good bit of string on the opposite side of where the string is not attached to the roll because as y'all can see, I dropped it because I didn't leave enough room on the opposite side whenever I tied it. I'm going to play that back so that y'all can see that again. But yeah, as y'all can see, I didn't leave enough string so it slipped right out of my hand. So yeah, make sure you leave enough string on the opposite side. Tying the bracelet is super easy. You're going to want to make sure you have enough string on both sides, as y'all see. You're going to want to make an X, and then you're going to feed. You're going to want to feed through the middle, like just reach your hand in the middle and just grab it. I promise, it's exactly like tying a shoe. Pull it and tie it together. It's like tying a shoe without the bunny ears. Make an X, and then with the X, you just want to go to go through the middle. And pull it together and tie it. I promise it's super easy. I'm going to keep quiet and let y'all watch because I've already explained it. So yeah, just watch. Now, here comes cutting the bracelet. Do not cut too close to the knot because the bracelet will pop. Make sure you stay a little bit further out and then cut it. And then you're going to want to stretch the bracelet a couple of times after you tie it just to kind of loosen it up. Because I tie my bracelets three to four times so it'll be pretty tight. So as y'all can see, I'm loosening the bracelet up. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I do use the seven inch circle. As y'all can see, I put it back in there and it fits. I use the seven inch circle to tie my bracelets. I mean, to make them because that's the size of an average wrist. And as y'all see, I'm stretching and stretching and stretching. The bracelet is not going to pop because I'm using Bougie Girl String. Click the link in the description and get yours today. I hope this was helpful. Bye. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really do hope that I was helpful. Let me know in the comments if I was helpful because I feel like I'm not very good at giving tutorials. But I'll leave that up to y'all. Again, make sure y'all smash that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.